What's Up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a townhouse slash city house slash terraced house. So the reason that this exists is because I was trying to build a street in Stream City and I needed a house that is repeatable, looks good next to itself and is viable to make in different colors and materials and this is perfect. Here's a good example of it, you can see all of these same yet different houses all stacked next to each other and also on a hill on one of my streets. This is the amount of space required to make your house. Feel free to make this grid in your world if you feel as though it will help you plan things out. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please make sure that you have access to all of these. We will also be grabbing more stuff later on, but I'll give you guys a fair warning when we get to that point. Step 1. If you have made the grid, come all the way over to the front left hand corner of it. Count backwards from the corner. 1, 2, and this is where we are going to start. Place three cyan terracotta on top of each other. One, two, three. Place a quartz stairs to the right. And then three more terracotta. One, two, three. Extend backwards by three. One, two, three. Extend across by one. And then place two glass pane. One, two. And then place a cyan terracotta. We then want to extend that cyan terracotta backwards by 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then extend across and join all the way back to where we very first started, like this. What we then want to do is grab the bricks and coming all the way back to where we very first started here, we want to place a brick on top of the first cyan terracotta that we placed. And extend that brick backwards by three. One, two, three. And right of the stair here as well, we want to place a brick and extend that across to the right. And then also backwards by three as well, sitting on top of the cyan terracotta. We then want to place another quartz stairs up and behind this first one here. We can then fill the top of this in. I'm just going to use some quartz slabs for this, but you can use a varying amount of materials if you'd like. So the next thing that we're going to do is on the two outward corners here of what I'm going to call the stoop. We are going to, on these two outward corners, place three quartz, or rather quartz pillars, one, two, three extending up and one, two, three extending up. We then want to place smooth quartz slab, joining them together in the middle and then extend that quartz slab forwards and extend it left and right across the front of the pillars. We then want to come behind the pillars here and place quartz slabs extending inwards, each by one like this. And then we want to place bricks behind these smooth quartz slabs and join them together in the middle. What we then want to do is we want to place black concrete above the gap that we have here. It may even be easier to fill the top of this in with quartz slabs, so just below the black concrete. And we also want to extend the black concrete forwards a row as well and then place smooth quartz slabs around the top of the black concrete like this. So the end result should look a little bit like this and we're just going to join the two corners together just at the front and it, I don't know, it's kind of just like a nice pleasing shape. We then want to extend the row of bricks that we have or that we placed earlier just behind the quartz slabs and the black concrete. We want to extend that one row backwards and then join it down on the left and right side, just like this. We then want to place, 
we basically want to extend these bricks inwards, pretty much. So we want to create another layer of bricks. And then on the left side, we just want to fill the first two rows in like this. And then a door will go here. So we're actually going to be using oak planks for this. So I'll just momentarily swap out the spruce planks for the oak planks like this. And then a door will be going there. So I just want you guys to like get a better understanding of uh, how this is going to shape out. So that is quite a complicated part of the build done there. And what we now want to do is we want to on top of the cyan terracotta, we want to place a row of nine bricks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we want to, on top of every single cyan terracotta, we want to stack that layer of nine bricks. Okay, perfect. Except for the fact that on the front left hand side of the build here, behind where we have the overhang for the stoop, we want to extend the bricks behind this and upwards to make it stick out a little bit, like this. In addition to that, we also want to extend down all of the cyan terracottas for the base of the build. Perfect. It's important to get those extended down as far down as they will go because this is actually going to make the basement. So we need all of that nice and sealed up. The next thing is for us to install windows around the build. So the windows are relatively easy to place. We'll begin on the front right side of the build here. And above where we have this little basement window, We'll leave a gap of one, and then we'll place a 2x2 two two square of glass above the basement window. Then above that, we'll knock out above the window frame and place brick stairs. We'll then leave a gap of two, and then we'll destroy a 2x2 two two square gap and place glass pane inside here. And then above the glass, we'll place brick stairs, like so. In this left area here, just above the overhang, we'll leave uh, a gap like this, and we'll destroy a two by f well, we will destroy a two by three area, and then we'll destroy further the inside this left side, and we'll place glass. So it's kind of an interesting window design, and we'll either place shutters in this, or we'll add some plants, or we'll figure out what we'll do later. But regardless, above the window, we do want to place some brick stairs, just like that. I'm starting to think that we might raise up these bricks here. So I think I'm going to knock out just underneath the stoop here. And I'm just going to install... Yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to throw some more quartz slabs. So this will just extend back a little bit further. And I think that I like that effect a little bit more. Um, I'm also contemplating getting rid of this first layer of black concrete because it just leaves a little bit of a gap. It, I, I don't know, I think it looks a little bit more interesting with, uh, with a gap inserted there, but, you know, I'll let you be the judge. So, beyond this, we are going to come to the back of the build, and we have to add a window and, well, a couple of windows and a door. So on the back of the build, if you come down to the bottom right hand corner here, move up and left diagonally by one, destroy this block and the block above it, you'll notice that this is opposite to the front door. And then if you follow the top block along that you destroyed all the way over to the left, destroy this block just before you hit the corner and then the one right of it, and we can fill this in using glass pane. We'll also destroy this block below the door, and once again, we'll momentarily just grab the oak planks like this and move the spruce. And that's where the door's going to be. And above this little window here, we'll leave a gap of one, two, three, and then we'll have a double window just up at the top here, just like this. And that's perfect. So the next thing that we're going to do is basically above 
the windows that we've just placed, we will be placing brick stairs. Just regular old downwards facing brick stairs like this. But we're also going to extend the bricks across the build and we will also place it through the middle of the build as well, leaving the corner blocks intact though. There we go, I think that that looks pretty cool. Next, we're going to do the roof. So, for the roof, we are going to need smooth quartz slabs, polished blackstone brick stairs, cobbled deep slate stairs, polished blackstone slabs, we'll also need some andensite wall a little bit later on, so we'll grab it now, polished diorite, glass pane, and you know what? Let's grab ourselves some oak planks because we can do a, a little job here, first of all. So we're going to grab the oak planks and head inside. So we're basically just going to place the floor for the inside of the build whilst we still have some light. We already have a couple of oak planks placed where we have the doors, so it should hopefully be quite obvious where that first floor goes. It just connects the front and the back door together in the same level. Then, the next floor is simply going to leave a gap of three, one, two, three, and just above the door here, we want to install another layer of oak planks, and this is going to be the second floor. Feel free to not use oak planks, and feel free to use a colour. Maybe if you want to use some wool, you can get a carpet effect, it's up to you. And then finally, last but not least, we want to also have a third floor, so that is going to be made using, once again, oak planks, and it will join the top of the build together, uh, just like this. So, this is where we are going to have all of the floors, they're nice and laid out, and this leads us nicely onto the roof. The roof's relatively simple, and I'm realising we might have to grab some bricks for this. So, the roof... I'm going to first of all just place a layer of bricks on top of the bricks. So bricks on bricks on bricks on bricks. And I just want to do this. And uh, yeah, okay, so this is this. I'll, I'll place it around. I'll follow the shape. There we go. That's perfect. So I placed a layer of bricks. Now, the sides of the roof are going to be made using polished blackstone brick stairs. The side of the roof just wants to overhang the front of the roof and the back of the roof by one row. So, nice and simple. Like this. So, that is the edge of the roof and we're using the blackstone stairs. Now, on the front and the back of the build, I'm going to have the edge of the roof also be the polished blackstone brick stairs. So, we're just going to place upside down stairs with regular stairs placed on top of them until they eventually meet each other in the middle. So, there will be a point where that happens, right here, and we'll place polished blackstone slabs in between, and then we'll stick one on top, like a cherry. We will then place a polished diorite inside of the empty space in between, and we'll make the very middle block, which I am designating this one, glass. So, from the outside looking in, it will look exactly like this, and I think that that's a really nice looking roof. However, we're going to join the bottom of it together using some quartz slabs, like this. And the middle of the roof will be cobbled deep... Hang on. Cobbled deep slate stairs. For some reason, that's hard for me to say. And that's it. We'll do the same on the front. We'll extend some cobbled deep... Hang on. Cobbled deep slate stairs in between. And that is exactly how the roof will look. So next, we are going to grab the andensite wall, and we want to place it just in the corner next to this basement window, and raise it all the way up to the top of the build like this, and it will just fit snugly behind that row of quartz slabs. The next thing that we have to do is we have to make the garden a little bit. Or, if you'd like, we can actually build up the front of the build a little bit by grabbing smooth stone, blue shulker boxes, lime shulker boxes, and as a matter of fact, let's finish the front of the build. So we'll grab the grass blocks as well, oak trap doors, lanterns, moss carpet, dark oak wood door, and uh, we'll grab some chains, and we need loads of stuff actually, so... 
The smooth stone is just going to be my flooring material for the street. It's what I use for the pavement. So I'm using it to just build up in front of the house, leading all the way up to the stairs that we have here just for the stoop. And I'm just building the street like this. And you may want to vary the street a little bit. You might want to make it a little bit more jagged, cut off some corners. You may want to insert some different blocks here and there, maybe even some railings as you like to walk around. But I'll, I'll leave that up to you and I'll show you some examples of that a little bit later on. Uh, the reason that we have the blue and lime chalk boxes are they make good bins. So we'll place those and then throw some trapdoors on top. And then we have a green and blue bin. So recycling and non-recycling. If you're in the UK, and it also depends on where you are in the UK specifically, but that's the idea. We're going to place chains around the top of the stoop area here. And we are also going to add a little bit of moss carpet that's going to look like a doormat. We'll stick a lantern in the corner here and we will place a door. And we'll also place the back door as well just whilst we have it on us. So we'll just go and quickly place that. So the next thing that we're going to do is just inside here we're going to grab the birch sign and some paintings. Oh and I guess that we'll... Um, we'll have to do the rest of it a little bit later on when we get the materials, but I'm going to stick a birch sign, number one, that is the door number, and I'm going to stick a painting behind it because I think it's actually quite a cool effect, I, d I do quite like that. We have the, we don't have the light grey carpet on us, but that's okay, we don't have everything we need to just complete that little bit yet anyway. So in doing that, and by the way, I think that that looks really nice, uh, in doing that we can grab the grass blocks, oak trap door, and uh, we can place some window boxes on the build. So it's up to you whether you want them or not, but I think that they make a bit of a difference. So underneath the windows, oak trap doors, around some grass blocks, make perfectly nice looking window boxes. So you can even place them underneath as well. And there we go, we can throw some flowers in there later. Um, up at the top here, you could have another window box that's built into the wall. Or you can just uh, go for shutters. It's kind of like a dealer's choice there. It's, it's up to you. I think that that looks... I think it looks good either way. So I'll completely leave that option up to yourself. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is establish the back garden a little bit better. So for the back garden, we're going to need spruce planks. We'll need some oak fence. We'll need the bricks again. Um, any sort of stairs will do. I'll go for cobbled deep slate, some polished diorite we'll also need. And then we need like a bunch of different stuff, but grass blocks, smooth stone we'll just grab for the time being. And we will ju we'll just leave it at that, okay? So, the wall for the... The wall for the garden will start here on the right side of the build, so on the right side of the back. And we are going to place a row of 11 spruce planks extending out the back of the build. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we'll extend across the back of the build. And we want to join the wall diagonally to the opposite corner of the build. Or you can just extend it one row inwards, it doesn't matter. But it wants to sit on the side of the build and not out the back. We're going to raise up this wall to be as high as... Probably, it'll just sit underneath this window here. I think that that's a good place to take it. Or, the right side of the wall, or the left side of the wall. It kind of depends on, like, your perspective. But this side of the wall that I'm working on, which will connect to another house, I'm going to make this as high as the window. But on the back... And the other side, I'm going to make it one row lower and stick oak fence on it. There we go. Perfect. So, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to join the front and the back of the garden together using some smooth stone. So, I'm just going to run a row of smooth stone extending to the back of the house here. Just a couple of rows extending from the pavement where the street will be, just all the way back. And this may not even be possible, depending upon how you place these houses. Like, if this is next to another house, you may not be able to do this, but that's perfectly fine. If you are able to do this, then I like the idea of having, like, an entrance into the back garden. We may even have to drop that a little bit lower as well, but I just want to have it extended backwards. Um, underneath this door here, I'm going to stick a polished diorite. 
with some cobbled deep slate stairs in front. And then I'm going to drop these stairs one, two, like this. And yeah, then the garden level is going to sit, unless it, unless we make it a little bit lower, but I think that we'll just drop it to this level. And then we'll place a bricks on the side here, and we'll just raise up the bricks so that it's as high as this area. And we, yeah, then, then we'll add some chains on the side, like this. So we'll just add some chains on the side here, and, and then that'll be perfect. So we'll then place smooth stone in the ground, in front of these uh, in front of these stairs and then we'll have a couple of rows of smooth stone just in front like so and then we could we could drop one row lower into the garden if we wanted to or we we can make it maybe maybe we'll just leave it like that actually so um, I'm just gonna fill this in with grass although that's not going to stay that way we're gonna grab some stuff later or probably sooner rather than later as we are getting quite deep into this tutorial now but the idea anyway is that we want to be able to knock out from the wall here and there will be a garden gate so we would have to drop uh yeah we, we we'd have to have some stairs here in some sort of fashion um to like join the front of the back of the build together but that wouldn't be a problem whatsoever, and this would probably just be a little gentle. And the thing about it is, is if you did want to have another one of these houses, but leave a little space for a gentle, then you could, and then you'd be able to access the garden on every single one of them. It, it's very versatile, it depends on what you want to do. But... I'm realising that we really should just grab the rest of the stuff we need for the garden, so... I'm gonna do that. And we're back. So I have grabbed immediately ferns, flower parts, flowering azalea leaves, jungle leaves, spruce vents, stone pressure plates, stone buttons, peonies, and some pods are. Now do feel free to vary all these to your favourite things, but uh, these are some of my favourite materials to use. But, you know, you can mix and match. Against the steps here, I'm going to have a couple of fence, and on top of one of the fence, I'm going to have regular leaves and then azalea leaves. Next to them, I'm going to stack a couple of flower pots with some ferns in, and it, this is basically just like a nice little garden patio. Then, I'm going to, against this wall here in front of this, knock out two rows of grass and replace it with pods on, because I like how it looks, and then I'm going to place peonies along the back wall. So, just like that. Stone pressure plate here, a button here, makes it just look a little bit better. Next, I'm going to make a bit of the patio. So this is going to require some dark prismarine stairs, some diorite wall, end rod, string, light blue carpet, white carpet, uh, loom, furnace, and detector rail. In the corner here, a couple of prismarine stairs. They can be changed to anything. Next to that, diorite wall, end rod on top, maybe two if we're feeling, if we're feeling adventurous. On the opposite side, a couple more stairs, just like this. So it's just like a little patio set. We can even stick another end rod in front and stick a white carpet in front on top of that as well. Or a light blue carpet, however you feel. We're gonna place some string around the top of the end rod here, and then we'll place white carpet, and then blue carpet just all the way around. It's just a little parasol, just so that people can um, just sit and chill out. We'll have a little sort of homemade barbecue sort of thing. It, it's basically just a luminar furnace next to each other with, with a detector rail on top. Nice and simple. We could even place this to the side perhaps and it'd look even better. I don't know. Uh, the loom might be unnecessary, but I'm just keeping it in there anyway. Then, the rest of it. So, we need to grab oak planks. There we go. Move them into the corner because it, I don't know why it annoys me if it's not in the corner. And then we're going to grab lime terracotta, birch planks. We need these spruce doors for a couple of things actually. And then some oak slams, crafting table, lanterns, get rid of the end rod. So in the corner there is a shed. And in this shed we are going to place, I think that, yeah okay, so we'll leave like, we'll leave a gap of one, two, and then this third block here we're going to have a few. Few being three. Yeah, we'll stick with three. Three birch, uh, three birch planks. Destroy the ground, and we'll turn it into oak planks. Stick a door next to the uh, birch here, and then raise the birch up next to the door on the left and right. And then we'll have a ceiling like this. So this is going to 
basically just cover the space and then extend above the door and to the uh, right of it. And then we'll just place some oak slabs and we'll make kind of like a diagonal roof like this, just using oak planks. So we'll just have to destroy that birch there. And there we go, nice and easy. Just dead simple, dead easy shed. And inside of it, we will have a little shelf, crafting table, lantern, boom, perfect, easy peasy. Uh, for the grass itself, we are going to dig up every other row of grass and insert these lime terror half the streaks because I like how it looks. Then, over here, we are going to place a spruce door for the garden gate. And that's all there is to it. It's just a nice, simple back garden. So, light grey carpet we are going to place on top of the chains. Because I like how it looks. And on the front of the build, we're also going to do that on top of the chains as well. Because, once again, say it with me, I like how it looks. So... That's, that's that, basically. And I'm also going to just... We need some flowers, really. But peonies are too big. I don't have any flowers on me, so I kind of... What do we want? Did we just want some neutral flowers, guys? Do we just want to have, like... I like ferns as well. I'm, I'm into ferns and the azaleas recently. I don't know why. I even like the saplings, but the problem is if they grow. But I don't think they will, actually, because of their positioning. But for the window boxes, like, I just... I, d I don't think we even need flowers. I just like that. I think it, I, d I just like how it... Again, I like how it looks. I can't stop saying it. But place this here. Oh, and also, just up at the top of the stoop here as well, we can have... Where are we? We can have flower pots, and we can have a couple of plants in here too, so there we go. I, I, again, it, it's just about making it look uh, look good, like I just, I think that that's perfect. I think that that's a nice mix of just enough detail, so I'm going to leave it at that. Take a little quick look around the outside, see if there's anything I have missed. I don't think I have, and now we are able to head inside. That's right, we are going to be making the inside as well. First of all, we have to structure the inside. So we're only going to be grabbing bricks and oak stairs for the moment. So when I mean structure, we need to figure out where the stairs are going to go, how the floors connect together. At the back of the build, it's going to be easier to start here. We are going to have a cellar. So we just need to have... We need to be able to walk around and into the bottom floor, which is going to be a kitchen diner. So we can start the stairs here. And the stairs are going to... So, like I said, we just want to be able to maneuver around this door. Oak stairs leading down into the basement. We're going to place bricks on the sides of the stairs. Oh, let me grab lanterns as well. Where are my lanterns, guys? I always have these on me. I use lanterns for everything. I love them. They're one of my favorite blocks. So, we'll stick one in the corner here. And we will also seal up this wall in the basement using the cyan terracotta. And where we have these bricks here as well, well, we will replace that using oak planks. Now, whilst we are down here, I'm just going to grab stone. And I'm going to dig up the floor and replace the floor with stone. Um, there's not going to be much going on in the basement. I'm only giving you guys like a basic interior. If you want to make it fancier, then you feel free to. But the reason that I'm making this interior basic is because I've got a bunch of interiors to design. I don't want to leave these buildings empty, so um, if I spent loads and loads of time on interiors, like, I'd, I'd drive myself crazy. But they, they do look good, re regardless of the fact that they are simple. So this is the basement. We'll be coming back down here later. So let's extend upwards now, and we basically just have to... The bricks that we placed here, we are going to extend pretty much just straight up, like this. Um, we can leave... And then we might be able to actually leave the stair layout like this. It may work out that we're able to place stairs here, just on the sides of the bricks, leading upwards. It, it actually... Yeah, perfect. So this, this is how the stairs are going to go. So we can then just dig down... And we can find where we place the bricks, and we can extend said bricks another row upwards up here. So, this is the second floor now. Um, you can even elongate this as well if you want to. So, here, and then we have a row of stairs. So, basically, just two rows away from the front of the build, and it works out to be one row away from the back. We will have just a set of stairs um, leading up to every single floor. And ultimately... 
up here as well we will also have bricks and on the top level here so on the top level here we are going to i want to say we'll extend this brick well first of all we want to cut cut that off but we will extend this row of bricks across and we will form a bathroom slash bedroom so that's how that's how it works out and we'll just want to yeah perfect so we can walk in between there we can hang a lantern here does that bonk our head it does we can't have a lantern there that's no bueno that's fine we'll have one here and here actually we'll have one up at the top of the stairs here walk down um anywhere possible we can place upside down stairs and it will just look a little bit better there we go maybe not there Ah, it, it's fine. It, it works there too. And there we go. So we can have one at the back door here. We can have one at the front door. So just to keep things like nice and bright. And, th and then basically, so that is all of the floor laid out. So basically, the basement, the way that that is laid out, the stairs section, just we want to continue that all the way up to the top floor. Easy peasy. However, that leaves one very big thing, which is decorating the entire build. So I have grabbed but some of the materials that we are going to be using for, at the very least, two floors. So we're grabbing dark prismarine, dark prismarine slams, cauldrons, blast furnace, block vine, stone buttons, diorite wall, cobblestone stairs, and grey shulker boxes. That's what we'll start with. So, in the corner here, I'm going to, this is the back right corner of the build, I'm going to stick the prismarine. Left of that, another prismarine. Left of that, a cauldron. Left of that, a prismarine. So right of the original prismarine, another prismarine, furnace of some sort, couple of dark prismarine, and then we're going to place one, two, three slabs extending out. We may stick to two. Then we are going to, in the corner here, I'm placing something that I've never placed before, which I'm, I'm making a little boiler, which is basically how one would get hot water. So iron block, stone button, diorite wall, just up above it. Just think it's a bit more interesting than just something random so then i'm going to place a cobblestone stair above where the furnace is and then i'm going to place pretty much above everything else i'm going to place the gray shulker boxes then i'm going to grab we need some other stuff as well uh heavy pressure plate trip wire hook birch sign birch pressure plate some candles brewing stand cake end rod and some white carpet we might even grab some pots and stuff as well but we'll see trip by hook wants to go above the sink with a birch sign in front of it just for a bit of fun uh we're going to place heavy pressure plate next to this and uh maybe like a birch pressure plate next to the oven uh in the corner here we're just going to stick a brewing stand and maybe even like a cake next to it uh, along the side here of what is the breakfast bar, we're going to have a couple of end rods with some white carpet on top. So just like this. We might even extend... No, we're not going to extend this. We'll leave it as is. Uh, then in the corner in front of this window, we want to grab... We need to do so much stuff. Some spruce stairs, scaffolding. We'll need birch signs. I, I want pots as well. Let me grab pots. There we go. Uh, then we're going to, we'll need the block of iron, some stone buttons, we may even use a lantern, maybe some chests, we'll need an armor stand. So in front of this little window, I like the idea of just having a little a dining room table, so that's a couple of spruce stairs, scaffolding in between, uh, boat signs on the side to look a bit more like chairs, and maybe like a flower pot on top of it. Um, next to the door here, or maybe not even next, yeah, next to the door we're going to have an armor stand, and that's just like a coat rack. Uh, you could even use a trip by hook above it or next to it just to make it look a uh, little bit more interesting. Um, against this wall here, we're going to have a fridge. And that's basically just a couple of blocks of iron with stone buttons. Uh, and that's it in front of it, actually. That's it. I've, I was going to say something else, but that's all there is to it. You can even stick like a flower pot on top of here and we can have... There's, there's actually no plants to grab, so we'll just leave it as it is. Uh, we actually we'll put we'll put one on top of there later but in doing that we can actually head down into the basement of which there's honestly there's not too much going on so in the basement we are going to need the i threw away some of the stuff that we need we need the block of iron iron bars leather iron trap door spruce stairs shulker boxes chest and maybe a lantern so all that's down here number one the electric box i know i'm, I'm having weird stuff to build but i like it so in the corner 
stick ourselves an iron bar, block of iron below it. Oh, we need stone buttons. Uh, a stone button in front of this with a lever on the side. Perfect. And that's just the electric box. Uh, fuse box, one might call it. In the corner here, a couple of blocks of iron with iron trap doors. And this is just a freezer. So just a big giant chest freezer. Uh, we're going to have a sofa down here because who doesn't have a random sofa in the basement? From every single uh, cartoon and show that I've ever watched in my life, there's always a sofa in the basement for some reason. Um, and then I'm just going to stick a bunch of like, it's just kind of like a little storage area. So just a bunch of boxes, chest in front, we might even vary it a little bit. So maybe like this. Perfect. And that's all it is. It's a little bit of a storage room, chest, fuse box. What more could you want? Feel free to make this bigger. You could turn it into a gym. You could turn it into another bedroom. This or that or beer, beer, beer. It's up to you. But that again, I'm keeping it simple. So... Moving upstairs now, I, I think that... Okay, so yeah, let, let me grab a plant. So, we'll go... Shall we go with a mushroom? Why not? Why not Why not throw a mushroom in there for the fun of it? Uh, we'll leave that as it is. Paintings we could also use to kind of like spruce things up a little bit as well. Although the armor stand... We'll have to get rid of the armor stand momentarily. So, little one-by-one one painting there. Armor stand in front of it, that's perfect. Um, it's a bit dark on this side of the room, so I am tempted to add a light in here. Um, maybe just something like this, just a table with a lamp on it will uh, just look quite nice. It doesn't have to be too uh, too bright in here, though. And then uh, you might want to add railings on top of the oven. I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it as is, and I'm, I'm quite happy with this. So this leads us all the way up to upstairs, and this is a very simple room indeed. So this room is simply a living room, and all we need is the uh, dark prismarine stairs, end rods, glazed terracotta, bookshelf, polished diorite slab, black concrete, and birch signs. It's a very simple room. So on this wall here, we're going to stick a TV, so it's just going to be a 3x2 square of black concrete, and that basically just looks like a wall-mounted TV. And we're just going to leave it at that. Simple, simple. Then, opposite the TV, on the wall, we're going to have a curved sofa so just using three stairs the middle stair is normal the end stairs are curved to make seti arms the left of this we're just going to stick a uh, just two by three uh, set of bookshelves we're also going to do the same thing on this wall next to the window we're going to have a set of two by three bookshelves in the corner dark prismarine stairs with birch signs on the side not in front on the side and then next to the TV, a couple of end rods, glazed terracotta on top to make a uh, floor lamp. Leave a gap of one between the sofa and then place a little coffee table. This is made using polished diorite slabs. And then if you are so inclined, we can once again grab paintings. And I'm missing the eye. There we go. And we could have like one on this wall. And there we go. Again, very simple. Um... If you want, you can place like a shelf on this wall, like above where you have the sofa. You can put plant. I mean, would it would it kill us to do that? I guess it might. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe just like just above the shelf or just shelfer the sofa. We can place a shelf and we can just have a couple of plants. Um, I guess it doesn't matter which ones. And then it, it does look a little bit nicer like that, a little bit more detail. But I don't want this room too crowded, to be honest. I'm, I'm quite happy with how it is. If you wanted to, you could place just another chair here next to, uh, next to this bookshelf. You could stick in the... And again, it depends how crazy you want to get with uh, the design in here. But, you know, you could have, like, a little shelf. You could have an item frame with a book. You know? Um... But again, it, it, it does depend. Can you not place item frames on scaffolding? Hmm. I don't know when that became a thing, but hey, there's ways around that. There we go. So, you know, if, if you wanted to, you can make it a little bit more detailed. It's as simple or as uh, complex as you would like it. And finally, moving up, would it look good to... Here we go. Here we go. I, d I don't know what... I'd... Maybe just a little bit of carpet just up at the bottom of the stairs. Would that look good in the top? Am I adding detail for no reason? Maybe. I kind of like it. But we can do that. And we could do that up at the top here as well. So maybe just like curving around. And okay. This is the top floor. This is the last room or rooms. 
Okay, so up here we're going to start off with beds, no blocks, black concrete, bookshelves, scaffolding, spruce planks, spruce doors, oak trap door, and lanterns. So, against this wall here, we are going to have a couple of red beds, leave a gap, and then we're going to have a couple, and actually a couple of couple, we're going to have a 2x2 two two square of spruce planks, and then place spruce doors on the side here. And then, I'm starting to think that this room could be bigger, but I, we, we can leave it as is, that's perfectly fine. This should be the other way, yeah, there we go, no? Right? There we go, nice. So then, we are going to place above the bed, oak trap doors. We'll stick a lantern above one of them. We'll have a scaffolding next to this wardrobe. Bed, wardrobe, shelf, tab uh, table. We'll have a, we'll destroy a little space inside of this bathroom here. Um, we want to have a TV, so we're going to mount this on the wall directly opposite the bed. No blocks underneath to look like speakers. Bookshelves to fill in this gap. And there we go, it just looks like a nice little unit. I, I, I like how it looks. It feels very cozy in here. Next, we are going to grab just a flower pot to stick above the bed with a daisy in it. You could easily use any other block as well if you wanted to, by the way. You could even make it, you, you could even um, shape the inside of the roof because we, we actually have enough room in here. So you could place the upside down um, stairs. Is that the middle? That's the middle, so that'd be... Oh, we could even do that. Just above here. There we go. And then it, it does feel a little bit cool up here. And then if you wanted to, you could have like, I know I've got a chest up here and then, um, I like the cartography table cause it, I don't, I don't know, I just like how it looks really. So you could even have like this above the wardrobe. And I don't know, just uh, just looks kind of cool. You could have a painting here. I think that that would, I think that it'd place. I'm not 100% certain, I think it would. No, no. Ah, it doesn't, Never mind. You could have it behind. And there we go, just like a nice, cozy, cool little room. We use a spruce door for the Anna. Ah, no, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to redoor. So let's use, we'll use the dark oak door for interior doors. And we can break into the bathroom here. So in the bathroom, it's, it's really simple in here. We're gonna grab calcite, cauldron, tripwire hook. Um, can we use iron trap doors or oak trap doors for shelves? Um, a chest, we need smooth quartz stairs, we need end rods, and we need some other stuff as well actually. But in this corner here, we're gonna place a calcite next, and oh, and we'll, we'll put a pot on there as well. Pot, next to this, cauldron, trip by a hook above it. Um, leading out from this corner, I'm thinking we just have a, a few trap doors. Maybe, yeah, actually we'll just have a couple of trap doors here, chest. Um, we could do with a lantern because it's actually quite dark in here, although the end rods might also sort it, so end rod. Um, I'm thinking candles of some sort. Any candle, shall we try some yellow candles just in the corner here, candle looks like something. Um, we could even place like signs, in front, a sign in front of here. Um, again, in this corner here, we're going to place, so actually, it won't fit there, right? So here, we're just going to have this is going to be the bath, and then the shower will stem from the roof here, so we'll have a couple of, no, we'll have one end rod, and then we will use an iron, uh, iron trap door underneath. Actually, this has to go, will this fit? So end rod, right, end rod, unless we, I don't think we can destroy that, so end rod, and then a trap door here, and then we can't have the lever, but that's okay. We, we can still have the same effect here. And then we'll brick this wall up as far as here. And then we will have a trip wire hook here, so that, like it's a bath shower. And then we just need some glass pane. And this, if we just place at least one row of it, maybe even two, maybe one and a half. No, nah, yeah, yeah, just one entire row of glass pane, then that looks perfectly fine. Can even stick like a, a pot or so just on the side here and then that that looks pretty good we could even just have a bath as well by the way like we don't necessarily need the m rod and then we can stack this up high and then we could actually texture but that we could only do that side of the that side anyway but i think that that actually looks pretty good i'm, I'm quite happy with how that looks and yeah this is not a, like a nice simple little bathroom so if we could just put that across the top yeah, we'll leave this side of the roof. Not, uh, we'll leave this side of the roof just as it is, and then this side of the roof will have upside down stairs. And that 
Guys, that's, that's actually kind of the whole thing made. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. If you want to make anything that you may have seen in the background of Stream City as we've been building, check out the description below and the top of the comment section for the City Builds playlist. That will have so much stuff in there for you to make. I guarantee there's some stuff in there that you haven't seen yet that you would love to build. If you would like to have a closer look at Stream City, then you may want to consider becoming a channel member. Channel members are provided with a fresh, brand new download link for Stream City every single time it is updated. Channel members can find that in the community tab, so that is something that you may be interested in. It's worth mentioning, it is only available in Java Edition, you could convert it to Bedrock, although results may vary. Trust me, I know that from experience. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope that you did enjoy this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!